I don't know why we're not talking more about the concentration camps on the border. Don't you remember all that ignorant stuff, concentration camps? I mean, of course, uh, an immigrant detention facility is very much the same thing as what the Jews went through in the Holocaust, but at least somebody in the briefing room was asking Jen Psaki about it. You said it is not kids in cages. We've seen some photos now of containers. Is there a better description? Is it kids in containers instead of kids in cages? What is the, the White House's description of this facility? Well, let me, let me give a broader description of what's happening here. We have a number of unaccompanied minors, children who are coming into the country without their families. What we are not doing, what the last administration did, was separate those kids, rip them from the arms of their parents at the border. We are not doing that. That is immoral, and that is not the approach of this administration. Hmm. Not separating kids from their parents. Joining us now <laughs> to talk about that and other things, the managing editor editor of the Media Research Center, or easy for me to say, Curtis Haupt. Curtis, um, it seems like a bit of a double standard, my man. Yeah, uh, Jen Psaki there was caught in some word salad there. Uh, I love <laughs> Peter Ducey's almost kind of trolling there. So, like, if you're not going to say kids in cages, kids in containers, you know, this is kind of a catch-all metaphor for this Biden administration. You know, they bombed Syria, but, you know, it's a woke administration. They're doing it with kindness because America's back. So it's okay. It's all fine. He doesn't need to go to Congress. Chris. He doesn't need to tell anybody else about it. It's totally fine. Same thing with immigration. He's allowed to do all these sorts of things. And, oh, by the way, Jesse, it's not a crisis at the border. It is not a crisis even though Obama's DHS secretary, Jay Johnson, noted that any more than a thousand people crossing the border a day should be considered a crisis, and we're at like two or three thousand a day. And on Monday, Secretary Mayorkas said, no, this isn't a crisis at the border. So again, these people just lie in the press briefing, other than Peter Ducey and maybe a select few others with the case of, I don't know, amnesia or getting hit in the head in the morning. Uh, and deciding to be journalists for the day. There's not really any sort of curiosity or pushback going on here. Uh, although I think if journalists continue to not be able to go out to these containers, shipping containers with love is love and hate has no home here strapped to the front of them, I think you're going to start to see problems. Curtis, I, explain this to me. Is this just an administration being introduced to the adult real world. I mean, I, I mean, you can campaign all day long. Oh, we're going to let everybody in, and I, everything's going to be fine. In the real world, if you have a third world country to our south, which sadly Mexico is, I wish it wasn't because I love them, and you have the wealthiest nation coming right there on its border, you're going to have a flood of people going from Mexico and south of Mexico into that wealthy nation, and you have to detain them because you can't just turn them loose on America's streets. Is that all this comes down to? Yeah, I was going to say, and you know well, Jesse, in te between te your time in Texas and Arizona, you know, you know the deal, that this is a crisis. And yet, yeah, the Biden administration, I think, believes that the media will hold their hand for four years. And I mean, they really do. They'll wear them out. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to sink or float here, sink or swim. And they're not doing that so far here with immigration. Um, catch and release, that's basically what we're going back to here. Um, you know, and the fact that they even struggle to have to be asked at press briefings if people that come across the border illegally are being tested first for COVID. Uh, yeah, you're not doing so good in that you have to emphasize, oh yes, of course, we are testing people for COVID before shipping them out uh, to who knows where. Uh, there's no quarantine, you just test them, and if they're you know, if they're negative, then that's fine. We're just going to move them out here. It's not like, you know, we Americans, you know, there's travel restrictions in certain states and the northern border is basically locked down. You can't really go anywhere. Uh, that's why hockey teams, you know, in Canada are only playing each other this season. Um, but, you know, now is not the time to come is what they've been saying. But their actions show different, uh, obviously, here. People aren't stupid. They know exactly what's going on here. Uh, there's not even a real caravan here. It's just a steady stream of people coming up through the border. Journalists know what's going on here, and some of them do admit it, but, uh, you know, it's they're more than willing to go along with it because it creates a greater dependency uh, from these people to the Democratic Party, and that's what they see here. They see money signs and they see voters, and that's what the next thing I would watch for, the media to push the Biden administration to 
get rid of the filibuster or use reconciliation to get 51 votes to legalize all these illegal immigrants. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.